What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Today I'm going to talk about something about this bullying thing here. And with this bullying thing, I'm talking about Martin on the left of your screen and Incognito on the right. Now, a new development was Incognito sent text where Martin has said he's going to kill his family or something like that. I'm not sure. I might put a link down there, but you, you guys do the research. But I'm going to talk about this case and how it isn't bullying. Repeat, how it isn't bullying. Now, when this case developed, everybody hopped on the bandwagon of Incognito being a racist, being this, being that. And I feel that they, they hopped on that bandwagon because of Incognito's history. He may, I mean, he may have had problems in the past, but this came up and all of a sudden he was racist, he was this. No, 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 no. black people automatically jump the gun and jump, you know, to already, already call him racist. Now, they may say I may, I'm defending a racist, but here's the problem. At the end of the day, I look at all the facts and I wait for the story to develop. See, here's the problem with a lot of black people, they're race baiters. They want you to believe everything they say, and they don't listen to the whole story. Now, me personally, she has said maybe the N-word or whatever, that dropped the M-bomb a couple times. Hey, if that's within the context of their relationship, if they were cool with that, that's on them. But I think what it was is just two guys in a locker room, you know, and it just I think maybe it just got on him between both of them. And the difference is that Martin was the coward of it all and came to the media. Because me personally, you know, I think Martin was wrong from going to the media because he should have solved that in the locker room. See, the locker room is just like, it's like, it's like, it's sacred to people if you play together. You know, he should have went to the incognito or maybe the, another team representative and said, hey man, this is getting out of hand, yada yada, this, that, and the third. But he didn't do that. He went to the media. And here's what made me really, like, wonder about this. When you get a lot of his teammates, from what I've seen, they're defending Incognito. Now, if you're if he if Incognito was really that bad, when you think the teammates would would have said, "Well, hey man, he's a fucking dirtbagger," something to that extent, or that's how he is? No, a lot of his teammates. And I, I'm thinking I never heard one say anything negative yet about Incognito. That's when I started thinking, you know, hey, this this is some BS story. What it is, I think, I think, well, if you look at Martin's background, I think he went to Stanford, he had a little privilege to him when he was a younger kid, and let's face it, when he probably came from a, a privileged background, he probably never heard of half of this stuff, he probably wasn't a tough kid coming out of Stanford, you know, you know how it is, I'm not trying to, you know, stereotype, but if you, if you a little bit well to do, you're not really a type of tough kid, and you're going to the NFL, you're going in a situation where guys are like wolves, guys are trying to, you know, Beat the hell out of each guys are trying to do what they got to do to keep making to keep their job and making that money. But I think Martin was in the wrong because he went to the media. That was a no no. That the locker room is sacred. Now I can see even the Dolphins players are saying they're mad at Martin because he broke the trust of the locker room. And a lot of people don't understand this. So it's just like it's like any fraternity type thing where like it's like the police have their own fraternity and they can only relate to other officers and they never bring stuff home with them. It's like if you're in the military and if you're in a battle this that and the fifth. You don't bring that home till you keep it amongst your friends. Now, a lot of you guys can't relate to this because a lot of you guys are really weak. And I have to say, you guys are weak. Me, personally, when I started hearing the story go out, automatically I knew something wasn't right when Incognito's teammates were defending this dude. I didn't, you know, I knew he had a pass. And at first I was like, well, let me see what develops. But I've seen a lot of people jump the gun. They're saying, oh, they're defending this dude. You're dumb. Look, man, it's the facts are there. If teammates, and I'm talking about doll, his Dolphin teammates who are black also, they are defending Incognito. What's that tell you? They could easily went on a rant and say, well, this is how this dude does this, that, and the fifth. He had black teammates saying to people, well, he's the first one there if, if Martin never needed anything. This, this, is, this is facts. This is, this is, you can't deny this. But a lot of you want to jump the gun. A lot of you are race baiters, or a lot of you don't know how to wait until the story unfolds to get the full truth. I'm not going to bash this dude. Now, if this dude said it and that was it, hey, I'd, have, hey, I'd agree with you. But the story keeps unfolding. As a matter of fact, I'm dropping this on, like, the 10th. And they already said Incognito received tests from Martin where Martin said that to him. So Martin, to me, seems like he's a little weak 
weak body, and you couldn't take it, you know, I think what it was is, you know how when you talk shit on somebody, and they talk shit back, and then you get into it, and so I think Incognito may have bested the dude, or whatever, now as far as paying the tab, that's a tradition, let's quit crying about it, it's rookies get haze, but here's my problem, is the society today has made this so, people so weak, the first thing you want to do is, well go tell he's bullying, that's it. I had to be told I agree with the GM of the Dolphins who said you should have punched the dude. If that was how how you felt at the time, you should have slugged the motherfucker out and they earned your stripes. But no, you took the coward's way out and you went to the media who's not sensationalizing. And with the effort of bullying now, you're going to have everybody and their brother over, overreacting. And, and God forbid you got Goodell now who's going to, and he's known for overact, overreacting. He's going to say there's no room for this, like this, no, there's not no room for this bullying, this, that, and the fifth, and he's going to meander all through, he's going to satisfy the media. So at the end of the day, me personally, this wasn't a bullying, I think it was a case of two guys who were talking shit that just got out of hand. At the end of the day, the story keeps undeveloping, I mean, it keeps developing more and more. So, like I said, the thing that, the key for me was, when I seen a lot of teammates, now I remind you, they ain't all white teammates were doing this. When I seen the teammates defending Incognito, I knew I smelled a rat. And unfortunately, I think that rat's Martin. I think a lot of you guys are being Al Sharpton's with a bunch of race baiters and trying to get blacks to be on your side and build a rally. Next thing you know, you're going to have Jackson Jackson saying, if you can achieve, you can conceive. Look, man, just look at for all the facts. Black people need more critical thinking and need to understand to watch a developing story. This story wasn't over whenever the Incognito supposedly did this. So, I'm out of here. I got things to do. Good luck and stay blessed. All right, peace.